get right out to News Six's Amanda Castro, who is live outside the sheriff's office tonight. And Amanda, you spoke with both leaders today. How do we get to this point? Well, Lisa, both Mayor Jacobs and Sheriff Deming say they don't want to mix politics with children and school safety, but that appears to be happening right now. Both of them running for office this year and both saying school security is a top priority for them. The sheriff just telling us this afternoon that they signed an agreement with the school's district on their plan for those school resource officers. But the mayor is concerned there won't be enough deputies in schools this year. Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs and Sheriff Jerry Demings squaring off today on school resource officers. They say their offices have been working with the school district since March after Governor Rick Scott required every school in the state to have a dedicated school resource officer following the Parkland shooting. Demings says he told the mayor in a May memo that in order to meet that mandate, they would need to hire 75 new deputies for the 2019-2020 school year. And in the meantime, for this school year, they would use 66 deputies working overtime hours to cover school security paid for by the school district. Our schools are safe and we have a workable plan going forward. Jacob says that was the plan as she understood it until two days before the start of the new school year after she read an Orlando Sentinel article that claimed the sheriff's office couldn't fill a full-time deputy in all 116 schools in unincorporated Orange County. As far as we could tell, every other agency within the region was providing a full-time deputy for each of our schools while they were in session. That was not the level of coverage that the sheriff's was, was per prepared to provide. Jacobs believes it's unacceptable to not have deputies in every school, while Demings claims they've always had a plan to keep students safe. The implication that we would somehow compromise the safety of students uh, really is insulting. I think the mandate was clear. I think it's overdue. Now, Jacob says in a news release sent out by Deming's campaign office on Monday, he claimed that he didn't have the funds for those news deputies, but she's saying that's not the case. She's always offered to front the bill for those deputies. Now, as far as the school resource offices this year, Deming's won't tell us exactly when they're going to be in those schools or how long and when and when they won't be there. They say they don't want to release that information for uh, student and school safety. Lisa. Amanda Castro reporting live tonight. Thank you.